Hey everyone, happy holidays. This is Esther Kane with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. Sorry for my voice, I'm just getting over the flu. Yes, I did get the flu shot, but what can I say? This uh, strain is uh, a strong one, I suppose. Haven't had the flu in over 10 years. So I guess once every 10 years, you uh, have to experience it. Anyway, I wanted to do this video in response to an article that we wrote a while ago, I think about a year or so ago, um, about gifts to give to women who say, no, I don't want anything. And the reason I wrote that article is because most women in my life will tell me that. You know, they're older women. So as older women, we tend to have pretty much everything that we may want or need. So when someone says, oh, what can I get you for your birthday or, uh, you know, a holiday like Christmas, you know, what can I get you? And it's hard to come up with anything that we may need. So usually the response is, oh, don't get me anything. Don't worry about it. But of course, <laughs> you do feel obligated to do something, to give them something especially since they are probably giving you a gift as well. So I want, we got a lot of comments or at least multiple comments on that article. So I wanted to address those comments in this video. Now, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate each and every single one of our subscribers. Again, I'm sorry for my voice. And, um, and of course, click the, the like button and the bell just to get notified next time we put out another video. All right, so most of the comments that um, were negative <laughs> for that article were basically about, you know, why give a gift? Why give anything at all? Why not just, you know, take them out to lunch or, do a, you know, give them your time, basically? Well, my response to all those um, comments is usually something like, well, yes, of course, you know, you can certainly do that as well. So thinking about doing a follow-up article on that, but I wanted to do this video um, just to give 10 ideas that I came up with on what you could do besides an actual gift. Now, you know, since today is, I think, the 20th of December, when you have the flu, you really forget the, the days. But um, so it's coming up. So if you haven't yet gotten anything for someone who keeps saying, I don't need anything, I don't want anything, then you can gift them one of these ideas. And it may be the best gift that they get. Who knows? Because it is part of your time and it is something that um, hopefully they need or want. So one of the things that I thought of that I love all the time is a home movie night. You know, I love it when a friend um, calls me up and says, hey, you want to get together and watch a movie tonight? I love that because it doesn't even matter what the movie is because the point is that person wanted to spend time with me and I get to spend time with them. So it's better when it's a movie that we can make fun of or discuss or talk about or it's interesting, but it just doesn't matter. The point is that you make a date to spend time with that person. Even better if you could do it on a regular basis. If you could say the first Friday of every month, we're going to do a movie night. And that's always something wonderful to look forward to especially for older people who live alone. All right, another idea I had was to create personalized video of family and friends, you know, maybe saying hello or nice things. And especially this is true for um, videos of people that live far away. If they can create a little video and send it to you and then you can edit it into the video that you're making, well, that's just a wonderful little treat. I mean, it's sort of like having a live photo. Well, it's not live, but you know, an animated photo of all your friends and family 
there talking to you. So I, I felt that that would be a nice gift kind of thing to give to somebody. You know, obviously, yes, you can take them to the spa, you can take them out to lunch or dinner, you know, those are the usual kind of things that people think of. But I wanted to think of things that were a little different. Another one that I thought of that would be great for a lot of people is to hire a maid for the day. Um, you know, it would be wonderful to just have somebody or a crew or however come in and just clean your house for the day. Even better if you're you know, taken away and uh, out to lunch and then to come home to a nice clean house. Um, as long as you can let go of the control of that, that would be wonderful. I know my mother would have never allowed that, but um, it would be just nice to have the house all spick and span, spick and span and clean and, and just, I thought a maid for a day would be great. But if the person maybe can't drive, maybe a driver for the day. That would be another wonderful thing as well. Whatever it is, a service for the day. So I thought that would be a good gift. Another one is to make a date with that person to either go see the sunrise or the sunset, you know, depending on where you live and, you know, what the area looks like and what their ability is. Um, I'm not an early morning person, so a sunset would be for me, but um, that would be a wonderful thing to do, to have a meal, go to see that. That's a lovely event. I used to do that a lot when I was in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Um, it's a good place to see the sunrise over the beach. All right. Um, yeah, I did get up early that those few times. All right. Uh, plan a day trip. Um, one, there's a lot of places that you can go to for the day nearby where you live. There's usually a small town or um, an art festival or maybe the mountains or the beach or a nature park. Um, anything around that you can go for a day trip. Even if the person has mobility problems, even if it's just a drive, you can drive through a national park. Um, you know, get to a restaurant, enjoy a meal, drive a, a scenic way back. It's just a nice way to enjoy some time out and some time together. Um, another one is to have a personal chef come in and create a meal, or better yet, to create several meals um, in a day and then, you know, put them in the refrigerator. So um, I have a friend who has a personal chef she invites him sometimes to some parties and he'll come in and it's wonderful because not only does he come in and, and cook the meal, but then he cleans everything up as well. So there's absolutely nothing to be done um, except just enjoy the wonderful, delicious food. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, another thing is uh, either landscaping, plant a tree in their yard or, or do some kind of landscaping for them or trim their bushes or, you know, some kind of thing that they may need in their front yard or backyard or side. Um, any kind of activity in the yard that will, um, that they are unable to do or have difficulty doing, that would be a nice uh, thing to do for them besides a traditional wrapped up gift. Um, take them on a weekend retreat. Um, this may be more expensive than most, but you certainly you can go to a yoga retreat, you can go to a meditation retreat, you can just go to a, a lodge near you in the mountains or a and b by the beach and just spend a weekend away um, that would be lovely. I, could, I do that sometimes. I get a B&B a &B, uh, cabin up in the mountains here in Georgia, and I go spend the weekend there. Um, in Florida, we used to do that on the beach with one of those old 1950s motels. So just anything to get away for a day or two, or just a night. Um, give them a date book, like for the next year, for the following year. I thought this was a very good Christmas gift, actually, to give them a 2024, whatever year you're watching this video, um, book, so that, but in that book, once a month or so, fill in a date. 
you know, it could be, like I said, the first Friday of every month or whatever, and say, this is going to be our movie night, or this is going to be the night we go out for burgers or ice cream or, or whatever, anything at all. And that way they have a scheduled plan, something to do for the entire year. It's something to look forward to. So I thought that that would be a nice, um, nice little gift. And lastly, I thought to sign them up, and maybe you as well, for something fun, like an art class or yoga class or maybe something to learn. You know, maybe if they're into history, sign up for a history class or um, archaeology or um, ceramics, I don't know, cra arts and crafts, anything at all. And if you can join them, that would be great. But if not, then it's at least something that they can do. Maybe drive them there, maybe um, anything to give them an event that they can enjoy um, if that is something that they are into. So those were 10 ideas that I came up with besides an actual wrapped up traditional gift. And um, I promise I will write a follow-up article for that one so that we don't get so much uh, comments and email about, you know, what about other things? I just don't want anything. Well, I get it. I understand. So <laughs> I hope that this video um, clears up some of that. Well, I wish everybody a very happy holiday. I hope you don't get the flu or anything else. Believe me, stay away from it. Um, and I guess I will see you next time. Again, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, bell, all that YouTube stuff. And um, happy holidays, everybody. And I'll see you next year. Bye.